Ladies and gentlemen, this marks a very special moment in the salon industry. For the first time ever, hairstyling is now no nominated with makeup on the ballot for an Oscar nomination. So I want to also thank a very special person, Ted Gibson, who we all know and love, who made this possible and petitioned so much to get hair nominated, and Ted, you did it. I also want to thank my sponsors, uh, Andre Chiavelli, Executive Vice President of Global Strategies, uh, and Fruit Systems and the family there. Thank you so much for sponsoring me on my journey to the Oscars. And I'm going to be interviewing some of the nominees for hair styling and makeup. So I want to congratulate you guys, and this is a very, very special moment for the salon industry. Hey guys, first of all, congratulations on your nominations for Les Mis. What an amazing movie. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. I want to talk about something very important. This is the first time that hair styling is being nominated, uh, in, in particular with makeup. So what does that mean to you as a professional? It means everything. I mean, hair is just as important and actually, dare I say, it may be more important than makeup. It's such a powerful thing to do to somebody and, and, and to add character. Um, so um, we are absolutely delighted. Yeah. We're, we're ex-BBC and we were trained always to do hair and makeup. So you're creating the whole character, not just a part of, part of a character. Um, so you have all the tools, you have the makeup and the hair and, and obviously prosthetic, you can change the hairlines. It's such a powerful tool and just to actually completely ignore it, I I think it's a bit sad. So now they have, now it's, have they're both. together. It's, great. it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you a question about uh, Anne Hathaway's hair, right? Yeah. That's such a big, con you know, everyone's talking about it. What was it like uh, when the hair was actually cut? I mean, to watch that, were you like, oh my God? I mean, tell us about that. Well, I think it was an emotional moment. It definitely was an emotional moment within the song for Anne as well. Because if you're there and you're having your hair cut and you're singing such a powerful song at the same time. So I think everybody that was watching it happen, it was emotional for everybody, you know, the crew and for the actors. Yeah. Can I also add that um, Anne, this is a decision that Anne wanted to do. It was made way, way before we were even thought of to bring it on the film. And um, this, is, um, this is something that she, w she wanted to do. Yeah. And, um, and, and so it was done. And also because, of course, once her hair was cut, it was cut. The schedule had to be arranged uh, around, around this, uh, mm. you know, so the story fitted around the schedule. Um, well, guys, thank you so much, and uh, congratulations. I'm rooting for you guys, all right? Thank you very, <laughs> very much. much. Thank you. All thank right. you. So I want to uh, talk to you specifically about how important this means to you, this is to you as a professional that hairstyling now is combined with makeup. Well, it's, we create one character. I never actually separated the two to begin with because, you know, just, you know, we're all an integral part of creating one character, and so it's nice that um, mm. hairstyling is being recognized as equally as the makeup. I mean, after so after so long, but I think it's always been there. It's just now they they've actually. Yeah, no, I agree absolutely. I mean, it has always been there. I mean, you can't do makeup without doing hair, you know. And especially if you're, I mean, I've done a lot of period work, and you can't do, you know, a lot of it is no makeup and a lot of hair. So when you're doing when you're doing period work, it's all about the hairstyle. It's all about the research, you know. Uh, it, it, it may, may amazingly important. I mean, to make someone look older, you know, you can use paint and you can use prosthetics. You've only got to change their hairline, recede their hairline a little bit, and that makes them look older. And you can pull back on some of the makeup sometimes. So hair is really, really important. Yeah. Now, this movie, I mean, when you look at the wigs and the beards, I mean, so much went into this movie and, and between hair and makeup. I mean, tell us about that. Just, just the complexity of, I mean, hours and hours went into this, all the braiding and all that stuff. I mean, what, what's your take on all of that? Uh, well, my take on it, it was an enormous amount of work. Most of the hair would arrive raw, especially with some of the beards and stuff. Uh, we had wig makers there, beard knotters, the whole shebang. We used a lot of yak hair, which was unusual. And then all the everybody that played a, an elf or a regular-sized person would all wear human hair wigs that were sourced in Europe and well, exactly. made in the UK. Um, yeah, so it was brilliant. It was seriously the most enormous job hair-wise that I think I've ever encountered. How do you feel that hair also is finally now t being recognized? Well, yeah, I'm with Tammy and Peter. You know, I think everybody just, you know, if somebody won an Oscar, you just would consider them hair and makeup. Like, you realize you can't do one without the other. Um, and if you did take away one of the facets, then it just wouldn't be a complete look. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely agree that the fact, but for the general public, I think it's really important that the hair has been, hair styling has been put on the award because you know, as far as they're concerned, it's for the makeup, you know, and we all in the industry know it's not, but the general public don't know. So I think it's great that it's actually out there at long last that it's actually hair and makeup. Congratulations, and uh, I'm rooting for you guys, all right? Best Thank of luck. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Thank you. Right. Thank you. I want to, I first of all, um, talk with you first about how important it is for the hair styling industry and, and as hairdressers that finally hair styling is now part of the ballot. 
Well, being a, a hairstylist and, and, and um, also having had two Academy Award nominations and it being known as the Makeup Award, this is the first year it's actually going to be called the Makeup and Hairstyling Award. And we are all Academy members and, you know, we've been campaigning for change and modernization within, you know, the Academy for hairstyling to have a voice and to be able to be on the, on the statue. Um, and it's very important, very important for hairstyling, for hairdressers, for, for the award itself because, you know, the whole thing is made up, the whole picture is made up of makeup and hair and costume. Costume have just been given a branch in the Academy this year for the first time, which is amazing. So, you know, everything's moving ahead. So, you know, we have, um, it's all part of the big picture. Hair, makeup, clothes, how the person looks. How do you feel about that? I, I agree. I mean, I think, you know, we always work hand in hand with, you know, hair and makeup is really under the same umbrella, you know, and, and especially because we do, you know, uh, special makeup as well. And, and I always feel when I start a film, it's always a giant umbrella, you know, between the straight makeup department, the hair department and the, ma and the uh, special makeup department. And, and I always say uh, my success is their success, my failure is their failure and vice versa. And it's nice to have it all inclusive and, and, and to be a part of, you know, I mean, this is a great team, you know, yeah. we, and it's the first time I've worked with Martin after all these years 30 years in the business and I finally got to work with Martin which has been a joy and yeah. and hopefully it won't be the last right no, and it's been a fantastic all right what are we doing been... next what are we doing next what are we doing next if you yeah. could do something with my hair it would be awesome well, that would be, that would be right. a challenge the three top guys right here yeah, 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 yeah. but as Howard said it's, it's it's a collaboration you know with makeup hair and special makeup whatever it is involved it's, it's a collaboration we're all in it to make the thing make the person look right make the picture look right that you're seeing up on the screen. Let's talk about the movie now. I mean, when you look at Alfred Hitch Hitchcock, I mean, you think of him as not really having much hair, you don't think a lot went into it. What is your take on really the, the amount that went into the whole process? Well, so often a good hairstyle will complement a good makeup. And it can work both ways too. A, a poor hairstyle or poor makeup will affect either one so when you have a good hairstyle and you have a good team it it, it really puts it, it puts it, it creates a whole character and it, that really works yeah. guys thank you so much and congratulations okay yeah, thank, thank you, you so much, much. Thank, thank you thank you, thank you very much